There are multiple configurations of heat sinks being used for AMD processors. The two most common configurations are shown here, the clip heat sink and the screw type heat sink. Both heat sinks have a thermal interface material pre-applied on the bottom. This material is protected by a clear plastic cover. Visually inspect the thermal interface material and carefully remove the plastic cover. Do not use the heat sink if the thermal material has scratches or gaps. To install the clip heat sink, center it over the retention frame, aligning the heat sink clips with the socket mounting lugs. Carefully place the heat sink on the processor, keeping it centered in the retention frame. Attach the spring clip under the cam handle first. This may require some force. Make sure the second retention clip is aligned with the plastic lug on the retention frame, and carefully push straight down on the clip. This may require more force than the first side. Ensure the cam handle is locked into the retention frame. To install the screw type heat sink, center the heat sink over the retention frame, aligning the heat sink clips with the socket mounting lugs. Install the screws into designated holes on each side of the heat sink. Tighten the screws in an alternating fashion to prevent overloading of one side of the heat sink. The heat sink should be torqued to a specification of 6 to 8 inch pounds. After installation of either heat sink, connect its fan power lead to the proper connector on the motherboard. Check the installation completely to make sure the heat sink is installed correctly before starting the system. Power on the system and verify that the processor heat sink fan is turning at a rapid rate. If the fan is spinning at a slow rate or not spinning at all, power down the system immediately to avoid any thermal damage.